Have you ever wanted to use someone else's video clip or audio clip in your own YouTube video, but you're worried that that could end you up in jail? Or worse, you might lose your YouTube channel? A bunch of people have made videos on fair use, but all these videos, these tons and tons of videos and articles, they don't answer the main question that I know you have. How do I use someone else's copyrighted art in my own YouTube video and not get slammed by YouTube with copyright strikes? Stay tuned because I have the answer for you. Hi, I'm attorney Ian Corzine, and for the past 20 years, I've been giving creators legal advice on how to protect their art. Now it's your turn. In this video, I'm gonna give you my five tips on how to avoid YouTube copyright strikes. Be sure to stay to the end of the video when I'm gonna give you a little gift. It's a gift that you can use to help protect yourself from copyright strikes on YouTube. All right, hit the like button, subscribe, and come with me into the heart of the matter. Tip number one, make it short. Before we get too deep into this tip, I wanna make sure you understand something. Fair use law is a creation of lawyers and the courts. YouTube uses it as a guideline for determining whether or not they take down a video or not. However, YouTube is not a court, it's a company. And in this area, its main motivating force is not to get sued. So as a result, you could do your best to comply with all the fair use law and maybe even have a court say, yeah, that's a fair use. But the bottom line is YouTube still takes it down. And that's because they're concerned about being sued in this area. So as a result, we have to be super careful. We have to comply with fair use doctrine to a T. Otherwise, we risk copyright strikes. And if you get three copyright strikes, your channel is down. So let's be real careful when we comply with these rules that we talk about today. As a lawyer, I've argued fair use law to YouTube until I'm blue in the face. They always punctuate the conversation with the response, oh yeah, how much does it cost for you to post your own videos on our website? I always go, eh. So the copyrighted video or audio clips that you import into your YouTube videos, they've gotta be short. Listen, there is no hard and fast rule for how long the clip should be. The shorter, the better. One second, two second, I gotta, even if you gotta go to 30 seconds, just make sure you're following the tips that we're gonna discuss today and you'll be safe from YouTube copyright strikes. Tip number two, comment or respond to the copyrighted work. The biggest mistake that I see on a daily basis is that YouTubers put in a copyrighted video clip or audio clip and then they don't comment on it or respond to it. They just let it sit there. There's that classic situation where there's a YouTuber and he's speaking to his girlfriend and then he splices in that clip from Casablanca. Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Wow, that was awesome. There's that other situation where there's YouTubers and they're fighting or they're arguing on camera and then they cut into that clip from Taxi Driver. Are you looking at me? You talking to me? You talking to me? No, sir, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to these beautiful folks. Now, would you kindly put your spring gun away? But in these examples, there is no comment, let alone a response to the video clip or audio clip that these people are taking and putting in their own YouTube video. People, hear me. You have got to transform copyrighted work in order to qualify under fair use guidelines. Think about transformation of other people's art to avoid copyright strikes. This can be done by breaking down, commenting on, or responding to the clip you wanna use, just like I did. It's pretty simple. Whatever you do, you've gotta transform that copyrighted work into your own, and that way you'll avoid YouTube copyright strikes and you won't jeopardize your channel. All right guys, let's take a break from the tips for a moment. I wanna know, have you ever gotten a YouTube copyright strike? If so, write strike in the comment section below. And if you have time, tell me why you got that strike. I wanna hear, maybe there's something I can do to help you. Tip number three, use the clip out of context. So let's say your channel is all about fashion and you're reviewing this particular outfit that you think is ugly. So you compare it to what 80s hair bands used to wear. And then you cut in Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. You are totally transforming the Guns N' Roses video clip. You know, the video was offered to show how cool Axel and company were, but you're using it as an example of uncool. You're taking it out of context, you're changing that video clip's meaning, you're transforming it, and therefore, 
you shouldn't be allowed to get a YouTube copyright strike. Bow, bow, I'm dead. And I can sing high like this. And I can sing high. Jesus. Oh, 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 sweet love of mine. Tip number four, modify the original clip. There really are simple ways to create new art out of existing copyrighted art. You can make a mashup, a remix, or some sort of new expression of the copyrighted art. In my last video, I talked about the case of Carryow versus Prince. Click the card here to watch that video. You may remember in that case, Richard Prince added blue dots and a cutout guitar to an original photograph taken by Patrick Carryow. The court, in the later copyright infringement action, ruled that this was totally transformative and fell within fair use guidelines. You can do this too. You know, maybe not in the exact same manner, but check out this mashup between Ed Sheeran and Disturbed called The Shape of Sickness. You can watch the full video on this card here. Drowning deep in my sea of loathing. Totally transformative. Or check out this guy, Dave Webb, who created an entirely new Seinfeld episode from deleted scenes, stand-up bits, and alternate takes. You can watch the full video by clicking the card here. But the, I think to me the scariest thing in food is that expiration date on the milk. Modifying the original art really does work. That Seinfeld episode we just saw, that's been up for six years without a takedown or a copyright strike. So yeah, it's gonna be more work for you you can't just import a Seinfeld punchline into your video and call it a day. You're gonna have to transform it, but if you do, you'll be safe from YouTube copyright strikes. Tip number five, attribute the video or audio clip you're using to the original creators. A decent defense to a YouTube copyright strike, when used in combination to the tips we just discussed, is attribution. Attribution is simple. It's just citing to the original work of art in your description section in your YouTube video. It's really easy to do. I use the Modern Language Association format, which is this. You just put the name, title, website name, publisher, publication date, and the URL. If you copy this format and properly attribute the original creators of the art you're going to use, and you use the tips we previously discussed, then you will be protected from YouTube copyright strikes. So now it's time for your little gift. Go in the description section of this video, you'll find a link to my free checklist on how to avoid YouTube copyright strikes. What I want you to do is click on this link, get the checklist and go through it each time you're contemplating using others art in your own YouTube videos. I promise you it will save you a lot of heartache and hopefully it will save you from ever getting a YouTube copyright strike. The best part is the checklist is free. So click it in the description section and you'll be protected from YouTube copyright strikes. I was also gonna ask, have you ever made a copyright claim using YouTube's form? If so, write copyright in the comment section below and tell me about it. I'd love to hear from you. For more in-depth discussion on the subjects we talk about in these YouTube videos and also free legal templates, I'd love for you to join the Heart of the Matter social media Facebook group. You can find a link to this group in the description section below. And while you're at it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. You might even want to hit that bell and you'll be notified every Wednesday when a new Heart of the Matter video comes out. So now you're an expert on avoiding copyright strikes on YouTube. But how about becoming an expert on copyright for Instagram? Click this card and it'll take you to my new video called Copyright on Instagram. All right, I'll see you next time.